Texas. We we got to talk about the the Casey Thompson switch here. Texas yeah. seventy, Texas Tech thirty five. Casey Thompson. This offense since he came in at the end of that Arkansas game has been un freaking real. Absolutely unreal. They, I mean, I don't even know what the yards per play was yesterday, but I know this. Texas Tech had the number nine yards per play defense in the country uh, up until that game. Now, the, the schedule, of course, benefited that, of course, but brother, uh, this 70 points, and they could have, they could have, honestly, I think Texas could have hung a 100 on them. I really do. If, if they had wanted to, if this game had not gotten out of hand, they could have put a hundred on the board against Texas Tech, and now I'm I'm very curious about what this Texas team is going forward because Casey Thompson as the new starter, eighteen out of twenty three, three hundred three yards, five touchdowns, one pick. Texas rushing fifty two times for three hundred thirty six yards, averaged six point five yards a carry, had four touchdowns that way. They were unstoppable and have been in every game since he came in, it, it, even against Arkansas. They couldn't stop Casey Thompson at the end of the game. Now, obviously, that game had gotten out of hand. Don't know what to make of that. But since he came in that game, like Texas looking a lot better than than what we thought they were after they got whooped. So they got at TCU next week. They got uh, Oklahoma after that. They got Oklahoma State after that at Baylor at Iowa State. Like they got some games coming up. I feel a lot better about Texas right now than I did. How about you? Yeah, I do too. I do too. I, I said this on my show that. I think that uh, there was a good move by Sark to have the balls to to make the change because I don't know that Card was playing so bad that it would justify it, but he knew he had to do something different. Yeah, and and he and he did. He let him play the whole Rice game and get comfortable, and he beat the hell out of Rice, and that was awesome. Then they came in, they just beat the hell out of Texas Tech. Now their defense had a lot to do with that as well. Got a bunch of turnovers. Show for. Uh, uh, Texas Tech played like shit. This kid has played great all year long, and then he just fell apart in this game. Don't know if that's a sign of things to come or if that's more Texas defense or 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 what. But um, you know, it he he did what he was supposed to do. I do think that the rest of the Big Twelve is going to be tougher, and other people are going to be able to score a little better. But Texas, Texas could win the Big Twelve. They could be the best team in the Big Twelve. Yes, yes, they could. Yes, they could. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.